hello, Dr. Toma here. And I know in other videos in the past, I have diagrammed out and showed you how the thyroid works. And I've discussed the tests that your physician or doctor should be performing. And that is the TSH, T3, T4. And if you've never had it tested before, your thyroid antibodies. But one of the things that is often missed is reverse T3. We don't always test for it, but there are times when you must look for reverse T3 to actually figure out how the thyroid is functioning. If you have a situation where your TSH is low and your T3, T4 are low normal, you should also come back and test your reverse T3. Reverse T3 uh, makes it so that your thyroid is less than optimal. It also makes it so that your brain and your pituitary think that you have enough thyroid functioning properly when you actually do not. So if you feel like your thyroid is not functioning properly, even though your blood work says it is, you may want to get a T3, reverse T3 tested. Some of the things that increase reverse T3 are stress, poor diet, uh, steroid injections. If you have had an injection in a back or a knee or a joint that's been hurting, whether you're taking prednisone, many individuals after they've had COVID have been taking prednisone and they will find that their reverse T3 increases. So you may find yourself having increased weight gain even after the side effects of the injections or prednisone have long passed. So if you're having these problems, you can reach out to the office. We can order a reverse T3 along with the other thyroid uh, indices and find out if that's a problem that you're having and come up with a treatment plan that'll help you. Have a great day.